Today I'm updating the ocean in my overland map in Campaign Cartographer 3 Plus. It's looking a little flat, so we're going to be adding an effect to give it darker in lighter areas. Let's get started. I like to start with an example of the end product. So this is what we're trying to achieve on our map. So you can see we want three distinct areas that are going to show a shallow, medium, and deeper part of the ocean. On this map you can see the lightest section is right next to the coast, uh, followed by a uh, somewhat darker area further away. And then you can see the darkest area on this ocean is in between those two islands. So I'm going to do a walkthrough on the steps on how to accomplish this, where I went wrong, and how you can avoid it. This is what my current map looks like. As I mentioned, and as you saw in the intro, it is fairly flat. I do have the coast outline and the sea already in there, uh, but nothing to represent a deeper part of the sea. So the first thing we want to do is create two new sheets. We're going to create a dark background for the deep ocean and a light background for the shallow ocean. Uh, the dark background is going to be one level above the background sheet, and then the light background is going to be one above the dark background sheet. And since best practice is to work from the bottom up, we're going to go ahead and start working on the dark layer first. To begin, let's select our line style, which is going to be solid. And next, select a fill style that is different from your background. Here you see me select ocean, which was a mistake since that is the same as my background. Uh, we'll see why this doesn't work and how to fix it. The next thing I did was just draw a small circle on the corner of the map. I'm doing this to see how the effects are going to interact with the ocean and see if there's anything that I need to change. And to see how the layers are going to interact, we're going to add an effect to the dark background we've been working on. Uh, we're going to add the adjust hue slash saturation effect and change the lightness to a negative number. I set mine to negative 35. Uh, but you can use whatever level of darkness you would like for your own map. I found the darkness I liked and drew a rough outline for the contour using the fractal polygon tool. Uh, with the darkness effect applied and a large contour drawn on the map, uh, you should be able to see a problem start to develop. Uh, there is small white dots uh, starting to appear in that dark area that we just drew. And this will actually start to become a larger issue uh, once we add the next sheet effect. Now that we drew a little bit on the dark background, uh, we're going to do some work on the light background now. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is copy the sheet effect from the dark background sheet and paste it to the light background. Uh, I'm going to keep this percentage same at 35. Uh, but simply change it from a negative to a positive. And then I'm going to use my drawing tool and draw around the island to create the light background effect. Uh, again, you can see that artifacting that's taking place with the light background. Uh, the same thing that's happening with the dark background. Uh, the reason why it's happening is the same, uh, so it is an easy fix if you do see this happen. After doing a rough outline of the dark and light areas, the next step is going to be adding a fading effect. Uh, the one that we want is called Edge Fade Inner. Uh, the value we're going to change in there is called Edge Width. Edge Width is basically how much of the edge is faded or feathered. A larger number obviously being that more is going to be affected. So just edge width based on how much you want faded and leave inner opacity at 100. After applying the second sheet effect, we can clearly see the issue that's going on. So this is called transparency acne. Uh, it's what happens when you try and use two of the f same fill styles. Uh, in my case, it was the ocean that I chose earlier. 
on top of each other while trying to do sheet effects on them. Uh, artifacting is taking place and it's creating these uh, holes and <laughs> as you can see it's clearly messing up the drawing. Uh, if you're not using the same fill style on top of each other, uh, let's say you're using ocean and sea, uh, then you won't come across this issue. Your map should just look just fine. Uh, but let's say you don't want to or can't use two different fills, uh, there is a solution for that. I removed all the previous polygons I drew and started fresh. Uh, next I'm going to select the background dark as my active sheet. And for the polygon I'm drawing I'm going to be using fill style solid 20. This is basically a transparent fill style that darkens what is under it by 20%. Uh, so you can use anything from 0 to 100 or combine it with a transparency sheet effect for even greater customization. Uh, so I'm going to draw this the same by choosing my fractal polygon tool. And I'm going to create a polygon on the right side of the map uh, sh showing the area of the ocean that I want to darken. Now you can see that when I activate the sheet effects, the darker background won't have that transparency acne. So that's about all I have about creating dark or light areas in your oceans or seas and what you can do if you encounter some issues. I'm planning on creating more videos as I continue to work on my map as it's going to be a fairly lengthy process. Hope to see you again.